Hi friends, quick update. We now have a new feature that lets you create digital planners, just like you see here. I've created this planner on Planify Pro and then imported it into GoodNotes. The tabs here on the sides are clickable. When I click on January, it will direct me to January. And when I click on February, it will direct me to February. Of course, you can also add pages between the tabs. Here, for example, when I click on March, it will direct me to the March calendar. However, if I swipe to the next page, you see that there are dated weekly planners for the entire month. This planner is just a normal PDF file that has clickable tabs or fields that will direct you to a different page when you click on it. So that is all it is. The most popular application to open up the digital planner is GoodNotes. Here on GoodNotes, uh, you can also write down into the planner with an Apple Pen if you have one and use it like you would with a real planner, but just in a digital version. So let me show you how you can transform a planner into a digital one by adding tabs and clickable tabs to different pages. Here I have a calendar open. It's a January 2023 calendar. To transform this into a digital planner, open up the layout menu and click on digital planner. Next, click on show the digital planner layout. In the first option, you can select the color background of the digital planner. And in the second menu, you can select the spine. We now have eight different spines you can choose from. Below the menu is divided into the left and the right side. So let's select right. Then you can click on add tab to add your first tab. You can add in total up to 14 tabs on each side. If you want to make the tabs bigger or smaller, adjust the divider width down here below. You can also adjust the radius of the tabs by sliding this slider here. If you want to change the color of the tab, click on the color field and select a new color. The color selection tool might look different on your browser, so it really depends on if you're using Firefox or Safari. Then to change the font of the tabs, click up here on the font and it will switch to the font menu. Here you can select a new font and also change the font size. For this video, let's create a simple yearly planner with calendars only so I can show you how the tabs are linked. Let me open up the multiple page menu and duplicate this page. Don't worry about the tabs on the sides, we'll get back to them in a bit. Select the calendar and change it to the next month and repeat this step for 12 months. Now that we have a planner with 12 pages, we can start linking the pages together. Go back to the very first page, open the layout menu and go back to the digital planner menu. Then add 12 tabs to the sites. Name them with months from January till December. And if you want, you can also give them a different color. Next, let's start linking the tabs. So when you click on the January tab, we want it to stay here on the first page. So let's link it to page one. Next, when we click on February, we want it to be linked to the second page where our February page is. Next, when we click on March, we want it to be linked to the third page where the March calendar is. And the same for April would go to page four, May to five, June to six and so on. I recommend you to always add the tabs in the very end once all the pages are in place and you're sure you won't add any more pages. So once all the tabs are linked, you want to apply the tabs to all the other pages. To do that, you can click on apply menu and have the apply digital planner tabs and digital planner style selected. Click on apply style to all pages and let it work and apply the tabs to each page. Now that all the pages have tabs and the tabs are linked, your digital planner is complete. To export the planner, click on save export, have export and all pages selected, select the digital planner and double page for good notes. Also select to not rearrange, then click on batch generate PDF. And this is the completed digital planner with clickable tabs. 
From here, you would save the file to your computer and then import it to your tablet and open it in GoodNotes or any other PDF program. I will soon also make a tutorial on how to create a more complex digital planner like you see here. We currently are working on automating uh, dated flags or automating the process of creating dated pages. So once this feature is live, I'll make a second tutorial for you to follow along. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me Instagram or Facebook and I'll try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!